Winter is officially here, so we thought it would be a great idea to help you prepare while you may be traveling, of course, on these holidays that are coming up. Here with us this morning, I have uh, Macon Rudisil to talk to us about some of these driving tips. Macon, of course, Wednesday, one of the busiest travel days of the year, a lot of people hitting the roads. So what do we need to know as we prepare for our holiday travel plans? Well, um, you know, it's Turkey Day, and um, one of the busiest driving times of the year. There'll be uh, approximately 50 million people driving 50 miles or more in the United States. Um, here in the winter, you know, here in the low country, what we really have to worry about when the weather gets cold enough is ice. Mm -hmm. Think of Black Friday, think of black ice. Um, icy conditions, you know, make sure you slow down, stay in control, and be alert. Um, those are the, the three things you need to think about before driving during the, in winter conditions. Well, that's important to notice too, note because people often tend to travel during Thanksgiving. They're headed up north, headed west, or to places that, you know, may see icy conditions like we don't necessarily see down here as well, right? That's correct. So uh, one of the other things that leads to a lot of wrecks is distracted driving. Talk to me about how we can avoid those things. You know, in today's world, we really need to assume that no one is paying attention. Uh, defensive driving accounts for 80% of all the accidents in the United States, accounts for 25% of all deaths, and is the leading calls of deaths in the, with teenagers, especially teenagers between the ages of 16 and 19 years old, are three times more likely to have a crash because of distracted driving. Wow. Turn the cell phone off. You know, if you're listening to holiday carols, that's okay, but focus on what you're doing and just, you know, be in the moment. Be defensive in your driving. Well, and that probably goes uh, to your ability to pay attention to what other people are doing. If they're not paying attention, at least you're paying attention. I think we need to assume that no one is paying attention. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, so as we head into these winter months, uh, what, you know, what are some of the tips to, uh, to deal with some of these winter-type conditions? Of course, last year we dealt with snow. Uh, we dealt with ice. Uh, tell me more about some of these uh, driving tips that you have. Sure. At 911 Driving School, all our instructors are police officers. I'm, I'm the owner, I'm not an, a police officer, but the 22, 23 people we have that work for us are police officers. Wow. Number one thing they like to do is what is called a pre-trip. Go out, examine your car, look around, you know, make sure the lights are working. Is the defrost working? Are the wipers working? Look at the tire traction. Check your tire pressure. A 10 degree change in temperature can control your air pressure by two or three uh, PSI points. Uh, that can impact your driving as well. Um, carry a survival kit. You know, keep flares, uh, an extra cell phone battery, watery, a, a blanket. If you're going up north or out west and you're going to be driving in extreme winter conditions, you know, keep a candle uh, handy as well. Perfect. Um, communicate. Tell people where you're going, when you're going to get there. Make sure families are on the same page with each other so that, uh, you know, there are no mishaps. Excellent. And real quick, uh, send people to your website if they want to get more information or need a driving school. Sure. Our website is 911 Driving School. Uh, we have an office in Mount Pleasant, and then we have an office in North Charleston in the Goose Creek and uh, Somerville area. Uh, we teach teenage driver's education, and uh, we also teach a four-point defensive driving class with, that's certified under AAA where you can reduce your insurance points if you built up points on your license. All right. And then we also have a traffic education program that works with the court, court systems to help people defer accidents they've gotten in and um, you know, try to avoid getting a ticket. All right. Thank you so much. We'll thank be right back. Thank you for back. your time. <laughs>